Welcome back to the Insane Trilogy Welcome Crash back. 2. Mm -hmm. Air Crash. Mm -hmm. Air Al Crash. Talk to us about Air Crash, Alex. You want to know about the level Air Crash Yeah. from Crash 2? A level that just goes for it with the name, by the way. If only all the levels could be called Crash. It'd be like if a, if a level in Mario was called Mario. I mean, Mario Land 2, there was the one where he's a big-ass Mario. That's true. That was better, though. That's that's different. That was tight. So, in Japanese, this level's called Surprising Surfing. Okay. I know we... I never explain why I do the Japanese names, I Alex, think. Alex, are you ready to get your mind fucked? Yeah. You ready? Oh! Oh! I fucked up. That's okay. Yo, it's all good. I think it's just because the, the names are funny in Japanese. It's nice to see where their heads are at in the translations. Is that like a speed run or is that like a secret that you just did? You'll see. Ah, I see the warp room. Check it out. Snowgo. Remember Snowgo? I do. We. These are all the little secret levels you can get to. Air Crash is one of them. So we can't complete Air Crash. But these other ones are here. Totally bare, totally fly, road, So this is the ruin. super hard level that's connected to Snowgo? Correct. This will get us the red gem. This level's name may be, according to the Crash Bandicoot wiki, a reference to Michael Jordan and Nike's popular line of Air Jordan shoes. What? Named after... Snowgo? Yeah, uh, Snow Crash. Or Air Crash. Oh, I see. Named after and originally endorsed by the popular basketball player, Michael Jordan. Can you text Jesse, ask what he yeah. wants? Yeah, you have to gameplay, Chris. Okay. You there? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Buddha Baga. Buddha Baga. Rutabaga. Oh man. Do new 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 Up. This level has the most secrets and different routes. The death route, the secret entrance, and the secret platform to snow go. This is the only level in the game to contain three more F exits. Wow. Um, it has the most secrets of every Crash game with levels. Wow. Yeah. When accounting for jumps not intended to be possible, this level is the only one in the game that cannot be completed in its first visit. Uh, in the PS1 version. You can't get the crystal on both gems because of how the, the jumping is. Fuck. Oh, I'm it also is only, now. It's also one of three levels that has more than a hundred boxes. So this is just all just like a speed run. Kind of, yeah. Shout out to that penguin that looks like creepily real. Doesn't he look like a mascot for like some type of like Shit! Some like brand of TV that you've never seen before in America that like just showed up one day from like South America or Korea or something that has like a new weird creepily realistic mascot. Man, ugh. This is not going great right now. What 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 is the goal? Just to beat it? Or you have to get every apple? Uh it's get to the end of this. There's no no boxes here really. You just have to beat it. Yeah, it's just, it's just pretty hard, and I just keep dying, because I'm an idiot. Well, you have 30 lives, so you're chilling. Does everything slip, or is it just the... Is it just the, the ground? Uh, ice. Just the ground. Hip! Yikes. Come on, dude. They're just like, fuck you. How good are the mechanics of this game, bitch? 
That penguin looks like he has a black eye. That's crazy. The other one didn't look like it had a black eye. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Dude, his shoes flew out of the pit. What happened to him down there? God <gasps> damn it. It's the Gerard syndrome. It's real. It's coming back, Alex. There is no such thing. There's just hard video games. They exist. You can beat them. Don't worry. Do you think he bleached? Do you think he, like, bleached his hair? The penguin? You think that penguin's having, like, an identity crisis? Like, he's, like, a juvenile penguin and he needs to, like, You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Stand out from his parents. Alright, how do I get past Look at- he has a black eye! Oof. Okay, ready? Like, that one had a black eye and the other one didn't. Maybe it's lighting. Right, but I swear to God, that bitch a has a black eye. Here we go. Time to party. Solid. There it is. If you hit it, does it, like... Does it, like, not reset? I didn't want to take the chance. Let's bust all this shit. Oh! <gasps> you gotta step on that box. Yeah. Also, these two- these two enemies don't seem like they belong in this level. The porcupine and the penguin? Yeah, I feel yeah. like it would be way too cold. That sounds like a, a children's book. The porcupine and the- Porcupine and the penguin. One lives in the middle of the forest and shouldn't even be here. And the, the other, other one is... is the porcupine. <laughs> uh, uh. Yo, two lives? I feel like this would be too cold for both a sea lion and a porcupine. The penguins don't even seem like they care. Like, you body them, they're just like... Yeah. Into living. I'm a penguin. Yeah. This is why I bleach my hair. I'm not ready for this type of shit. <laughs> you sound like the dog. The, the Muppet dog? dog. <laughs> Ralph? Yeah, yeah. Hey! Oh! What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about bleaching my ears. What do you guys think? Let's go! Whoa. Risky Bisky. Oh. Got it! Oh my god, I thought you... I thought you like... Oh, come on! That? Okay, that was bullshit. Where was Crash going? How did you live? What do you mean? If you get smashed, you don't die? I had Aku Aku. Oh, oh, oh. This is just fun at this point. You don't need any of this? No. Are we already did the stage. What's the 5 out of 10, then? The bonus- Oh, I lost Aku Aku. God damn it. Oh, shit. Yeah, we lost, uh... I don't need to do this. We need to move on. We're at the checkpoint, it doesn't fucking matter. So you already- does that count? We beat this level already. We got 100% already. So it's just still telling you? What do you mean it's still telling? It's like, here's how many boxes you have left? In- in- yeah, the boxes are forever there. It's very confusing. It's- it's because it's a bonus room. I feel you. That's how many are in the bonus room. Oh, word. I gotta say, this is a really good port. Remake. Yeah, like, I just- it just looks... really good. I'm very stunned by how well- well done it is. It still doesn't look like... It looks so weird. I- 
The thing about 3D platformers that I never understand is like the spatial awareness. I, I, I never, I never quite understand how like you're supposed to feel like it's precise. It's weird because they like made their own type of game to like deal with it, but it still just ends up being 3D after a while. Rudabiga. Rudabiga da ba. Okay, so Snow Go got the gem. Now I can revisit other levels that have the red gem. Which that I was like the red switch. Were. Yeah, now we now anytime we see the red gem thing, we can just go to it. But I forget which one it is that has it. See now we're gonna go back to uh air crash. Was it air crash? It was air crash, right? Air crash is the one that we were just on, yeah. yeah. So we have, to re we have to remind ourselves that we actually can't get all of the um the boxes in air crash. Yeah. It has 102 boxes. Who's hiding all these apples? Is it Cortex? Who's putting coins in the block? What are in they? The block? What are they? Mangoes? Who's putting coins in the block? Apparently, coin blocks are like made from like or brick. Like, there's some like thing in like one of the manuals that like everything's made out of like like people from the Mushroom Kingdom. What? Like every box that you break is like made from the body of like a dead Mushroom Kingdom person. That's I okay. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck about that, but like, number one, are they apples? I don't think so, right? They're like some no, type wampa of fruit. Wampa fruit, which is. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. A mango? It kind of looks exactly like a mango, but it still kind of looks like an apple. Totally different secret? This is the, the secret room. The, uh. The bonus room. This is like, it looks like somebody like photoshopped Crash Bandicoot into a level from Donkey Kong Country Returns. Doesn't it? Uh, kinda. Look at those trees in the background. It like, looks like a different graphic style completely than Crash. This looks like, this looks like a Crash Bandicoot Smash Bros level. This music sounds like Snowboard Kids. Peace out. So, okay. <gasps> okay, maybe we can't. Oh, maybe we can't. Oh, you know what? What? Oh, what? fuck. What have we got? Wow. So now we're going the hard zone for the gem. Does this help? The Aku Aku? Uh, normally, yes, but we're... So far, so good. Yay! Can you jump? Oh my god. Yo, question of the day, is that their fucking teeth? They look like- Oh shit, I did it. They look like big rats. Damn. Peace out, bud. Wow, okay. Peace out, bud. So I did that, but we don't have to go back to that stage. Because we can't get the- We can't get the, uh... The, uh, the gem is from a different, uh... You got it. Right, the all box gem we have to get from a different stage. Right, we have to unlock it. Yeah, just like we just did for the other ones. So, snow, uh, snow biz. We did snow biz. Oh, snow biz is the one we have to revisit. Snow biz and the, the eel, eel deal. deal. Okay, so the eel deal is next. Eel deal. E eel deal. You think that translates directly into Japanese? Probably not. You think they're able to find a rhyme for the word eel in Japanese? 
I don't think they believe in rhyming in Japanese as much as we do. It was called, it's, I don't know what's going on Ready? here. It's called slop slop underpass in Japanese. Tight. I've never heard that phrase before, slop slop. I can guess what it means. I feel like a slop slop underpass is just another word for sewer. Yo, those are the dudes from the Scrubbing Bubbles commercials. Wow, that was really good. <gasps> Keep it tight. Clean. I think you missed one. Secret boys. So far, so good. Oh! Green gem? The worst part is, is that now we have to go Just back. Just go all the way back. Which, honestly, wouldn't have been that bad had I killed everyone on the way back. Well, that's the, the thing, way in. that's the thing everybody says about Crash. It's just like that backtracking always sucks in these games. If you do everything. Do you, do you want to hear a do you want to hear a little piece of trivia about this game? Sure. This level's title, uh-huh, possibly possibly a pun on the real deal. A popular saying referring to something that is genuine or authentic. Great. Okay. Cuz it's the eel deal. Yeah. You get it? I get that. It rhymes with deal. Yep, the real deal. The real deal. The real deal eel. Yeah. Okay. This level was originally in Warp Room 4 instead of Cold Hard Crash, according to the strategy guide from MTV. Pretty weird. So that MTV has the hottest uh, strats for Crash Bandicoot. Apparently they said that it's because Cold Hard Crash is super hard. So they wanted to make it... They wanted to, uh... They wanted to make it easier, basically. So they think, so they think, so they think they like... They swapped it because it was too, t it was too tough before. So weirdly, no pits in this level, outside of uh, a small pit that leads to another section. Mm -hmm. Wallace is just enjoying my finger right now as I'm trying to play. It's very distracting. This is also the first ever sewer level. What the fuck are you supposed to do here? Oh, just dodge the electricity. Be the best? I didn't realize that there was like on and off on that. I thought he just did it when you came near. Okay, so here's an ish. What? That's for us to move forward. What's the ish? We don't want to move forward though. So you go through the hole? We gotta go back the other way. I think I went, I, I think I went the wrong way overall. I messed up. Wait, so. why? Because there's another path. There's two paths. And if you go down? It takes us to the next half of the level. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Well, you gotta go slow and steady. Oh! Dude, this is... This is crazy. Of course. Oh, it's right here? I... What a bummer. Is that it? Now we move forward. <laughs> That's fine. Because now everybody's dead. Right? They don't I think respawn. so. As long as you don't hit the nitrous boxes or the eel. Well, but yeah, going this way, you're gonna be fine, though. You don't have to worry like about like, what if I don't see him? Hit, hit, up, up. Oh my god, no, I got stuck. That's what always happens. Fuck. That's a big bummer. Whoa. It's all good. You already got it. We need the boxes, though. Oh. Did you say nitro boxes count? They do. But on every stage, there's a nitro box, uh, box to smack. That oh, clears to all, them all them out. Up. Yeah. That's right. Whoop. What a weird way to complete a game. What? Just break all the shit. You're fine. You're fine. 
Fuck you. Keep it tight. Woo! That was close. All right, we're at time right now. But next time we reverse, we're gonna beat the stage. You Whoa. ready to? How close are you? We still have like I think half a stage left. Oh really? Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next see time. See you next time. We're just gonna hang here. Look, Whoa. put it. Oh, his feet. His feet are in his face. He's clipping through the floor. By the time we come back, we're gonna be buff as fuck. One, two, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, <laughs> nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> Baby, Beard bros. big underwater Gucci, big wet Gucci. I'm Gerard. I'm, I'm Gerard. And I'm Alex. And I'm, I'm Alex. Frog in a car. You did it. Great. It's cucumber. What's good? What's good? Yes. Did you really do this? I did. Oh. I always take the time. Next time on Beard Bros.